Friday's jobs report suggests a smaller interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. While markets hoped for a larger reduction, the data points to a more cautious approach. The labor market has cooled from its post-pandemic highs. Fed officials, including Chair Jerome Powell, have expressed concerns about further softening. Powell stated, We do not seek or welcome further cooling in labor market conditions. Inflation is nearing the Federal Reserve's 2% target, but remains elevated. Powell noted that the labor market is unlikely to drive inflationary pressures soon. This context influences the Fed's cautious stance on rate cuts. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reported a rebound in hiring, with 142,000 jobs added in August. In August, the U.S. unemployment rate fell to 4.2% from 4.3%, indicating a steady labor market. This data suggests no immediate recession threat, reducing the need for aggressive rate cuts. Trust. With no major labor market deterioration, the Fed is expected to opt for a quarter-point cut in September instead of a half. It was after this report that all the hopes of investors for a more aggressive cut vanished into thin air and all the markets fell. S&P 500 and Dow saw their worst week since March 2023, while Nasdaq saw its worst week since January 2022. Yields, gold and bitcoins fell too. Dur. However, it's a matter of time to see if this is just a sentiment or something serious is driving the markets. Interest rate futures indicate a 60% chance of this outcome. The Fed will continue to assess data before future meetings in November and December. The report pointed out something interesting. Part-time employment for economic reasons increased by 264,000, reflecting business slack. Despite this, the economy remains stable. Is this an indicator that consumers are running out of money, that they need a second job or more students took on these jobs? Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Market news, short and sweet.